Hi there traders, weekend wrap. Let's just go through what we have setting up for us heading into the new week. A little bit of summer doldrums trading, uh, not much action except for a little bit of peaks here Wednesday and Friday. You have to pick your battles, pick your battles and stay. I like to stay out of the chop as little as possible. But let's take a look at what we have setting up. There's not too many clear setups, but there's a couple that um, you just need to keep an eye on and maybe later next week we will get a little bit of conviction if we get uh, a break or we could just play the ranges first one we're going to look at is the USD JPY just because this guy has been um I guess generally heading lower and we broke through some fib levels this week but uh, we're not having a move with an incredible conviction right here I mean as far as we can tell the, the pair has moved from 100 to 96.20 but I mean, we have to keep in context of the broader move that this pair so far this year I mean what did we start the year out at 70 uh, or, or so, so right around oh, let's see started to move right around the 75 level so the pair is up quite a bit and now it is just doing a little bit of consolidation and you can see that we are in a triangle and that went on a daily chart and basically you can we can either see what happens when we get to either side of this at the 94 say 95 area or up in the top right now which is still around 9984 so those are say 95 and 100 and until we get into one of those areas we're just kind of drifting in the middle I mean obviously we have a trend that's heading lower right now on the pair but uh, let's look at the squeeze down into a uh, four hour, 10 day chart. I mean, we can definitely see a trend lower right there, but it looks like I may have found a little bit of traction at 96. I'm not interested in doing anything in this pair until we get to one side or the other of that triangle at the current juncture. Um, I mean, you can just play the Momo and think that we have definitely been stepping lower. I mean, there's lower, there's there's a low, high, low, excuse me, high, low. You know, we can start all the way from there. A high, low, high, low. And basically, we're just getting, uh, we're creating uh, lower highs and lower lows. So we could be on our way to a more stable, a more... Um, pronounced move lower but we're gonna have to see what well, this is gonna tell us when we get to the bottom of this triangle if we get to the bottom of the triangle and I'll just be waiting for a break of either side of this triangle or maybe play the bounce on the inside in the short term let's just go to the other majors the Aussie is another one that's interesting it seems like oh my gosh this baby's turning around uh, we have seen a move higher what, what basically every day this week we moved higher it looks like we had a low around let's say 88.50 now we're all the way up at 91.50 that's 300 pips but as you can see the pair has still not um it's still in a measured move lower we haven't broken the momentum of the move lower it seems like oh we've been just drifting sideways and yes we have been drifting sideways for a little bit here but we still can see we have lower lows uh lower lows and lower highs i mean uh you can see that we had a uh, a high a low a low, let's just say a low there to make it easier for argument and uh, see so we still didn't we still have a, a lower low here and we pushed down and broke the low and we're again there so until we break I don't know if I explained that very correctly we just basically look at it we're making lower lows and higher high lower highs uh, if you can still see it's gonna take a break of this 9320 level to change my perspective on that and then we will be seeing then we could see a more measured move and then I'll just be watching these fib moves on the way up the 0.382 fib at 95 50 fib at 97 etc as possible places where you gain traction specifically the 50 fib Let's see if we move, uh, continue to move on lower. And uh, the general idea on this pair is, I mean, I guess the uh, interest rate environment has changed on it, where the uh, central bank came out and basically said that they may be done lowering interest rates. So we could obviously see, I don't have a bias on which direction the uh, pair is going, but I do want to uh, lead people from being too over optimistic about a continued push higher at this juncture. Uh, now the Great Britain pound and the Euro both popped higher, but finished a week kind of drifting to the left to the right um, and, but the euro once again I was saying that a uh, hold above the 133.40 level is nice because that was strong resistance but basically as long as we stay above this trend line around 133 excuse me yeah let's say 133 the um, bias for the pair is to continue to push uh, higher but we could obviously roll around here and if we do get back down to this trend line that'll be due to a dive time we can see if buyers come in for for a bounce and then back up but uh, if we do not and um, break down below this we could definitely see that we will be, could see for another push much further much further down uh, over the uh, month of August but right now it's kind of in a directionless uh, mid-range and uh, we could get the break higher or the break 
iron break lower and get a break higher we could obviously push all the way back up towards the uh, highs recent highs uh, around the uh, well I guess February's highs around the 137 level same with the Great Britain pound it has pushed higher and it seems to be pushing in that direction but right now it's sitting about mid range so I'm going to be watching 156 and 154.30 and we have summer chop right now so we could just bounce around this all next week I'm not 100% sure same with the euro we could see a little bit of bouncing but if we get a break of those ranges then I'll have a little bit of conviction all right everybody good luck trading check out the blog I'll put these charts up and if you want to learn more about the breakout trading I've been doing check it out and I have my results every month uh, so far this year and I had a great week last week uh, up a little bit over uh, 400 pips uh, check it out and I'll talk to you guys later have a great weekend